Welcome to People Playground. Today, we are going to summon a ghost. That's right, incredibly wholesome. We have an altar over here. We have a skull. We have a gun for some reason. Now we just need to place down some candles. Let's just put these down here. That's right. Oh yeah, Jenny's getting very excited. Let's just go ahead and uh, chuck. We need six of these things. We need six candles. Then what we have to do is place the skull in the middle of the altar, just like this. There we go. Um, yep, there we go. Perfect. Everything is in place. We just need to activate the altar. Oh my God. There we go. There we go. Yes. The ritual has begun. Okay. Did I just get the magic powers? Did I just get the magic powers to summon a ghost? All right. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and summon a ghost. Let's do this. Come on. Oh my God. It's an actual ghost. A ghost has appeared and he's ruining my altar. Dude, get off it. So apparently the ghost can possess somebody if they're dead. All right. It's a good thing Jenny brought along her friend, Cindy. All right, ghost. Go ahead and possess Cindy. Come on, champ. Cindy is right there. Now's your chance to possess. It's not working. Oh my God, Jenny. Jenny, what have you done? All right. Let's just get ourselves another ghost. Oh, oh, hang on a sec. Hey, there we go. We just needed to place the ghost, of course, on the person. All right. How you feeling there, Jenny? I mean, Cindy? Is that what we call him? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Cindy is alive. Oh my God. No, she's basically a zombie now. There's no getting rid of Cindy. Hey, <laughs> Cindy, are you okay? I'm sorry about before. Are we still friends? I think we are. All right, guys, we're gonna have to get rid of Cindy. That's right. Into the mirror realm. How does this thing work? How does the mirror realm... It is... Okay, this is the alternate universe right here. All right. Oh, and they're back again. They're back again. All right, so I need to get mirror powers. How do I do this thing? All right, I've got another altar. Let's just chuck down some more candles. There we go. And I think we just need to place down a rose. Okay, we've got the rose there. We've got the candles. Let's activate the altar again. Oh, hang on a second. Cindy, I mean, Jenny, <laughs> you're gonna have to stand back this way. All right, let's get this ritual happening. Hey, nice. All right, do we have the magic ability? I think we might. So if we walk over here, just, that's right. Go ahead and walk over this way. I don't have my possess ability. The mod wasn't working anymore. It's busted. So I'm just having to, I'm just having to do it old school. All right, here we go. Let's use the magic ability on Cindy. Come on, come on. Why isn't that working? Uh, uh. Cindy, get in the mirror. Maybe if we put Cindy over here. Oh. Oh, where'd we just go? All right, I've got someone who knows a little bit more about magic. That's right, we have the strange man, Dr. Weird. <laughs> Let's go ahead, activate the altar, see if it works this time. We need to successfully send somebody to the mirror world. All right, there we go. Dr. Weird should have his magic powers. Walk over this way, champ. There we go. We just need to just go. No, put that back. Put that back. Why are you carrying it like a fridge? Okay, there we go. Oh my God. Where is he? <laughs> what? Where is he? He's in the mirror world. Dude, how did you do that? Okay, I'm back here in the real world. Let's go ahead and just, just touch this guy. Oh no, maybe we need to. Yeah, there we go. We need to activate the magic. Hey, yes, he's vanished. All right. Where is he? He's nowhere to be found. All right, just gonna jump over here into the mirror world. <laughs> Dude, why are you wearing your cape on your head like that? And there it is. It's Greg the Accountant over in the mirror world. I'm sorry, Greg, but it has to be this way. Nobody can know about the mirror world. So the dark magic mod adds a bunch of weird items like this pumpkin right here. We can use this thing to give somebody the pumpkin curse. That's right. How do we do that? I actually have no idea. I think they just have to touch the pumpkin. Hey, homeless guy. Oh, oh, he's got the pumpkin curse now. Yeah, he does. Okay, he should be able to pass on the curse though if he touches someone else. All right, just hover over this way. Oh my God, I need to get that possessing ability happening. Okay, there we go. He has passed the curse on to this dude with a helmet on. All right, does he, does he have the curse? What happens to him? Apparently there's a countdown and he turns into a pumpkin. Oh, what's going on? Is he gonna turn into a pumpkin? Hang on, pass the curse on to him. All righty, this guy's got the curse now. Who's actually gonna turn into a pumpkin? Hey, hey, there, there it is. Yes, this guy has been transformed into a happy little pumpkin. It's got a smiley face. Oh, that's nice. What about, oh, and if you touch that pumpkin again, oh, you don't wanna do that. You become 
the pumpkin curse. All right, touch that guy. Yeah, that's right, the homeless guy. He just touched you. He just passed on the curse. Oh, no, he didn't. This guy's got the curse. It's like an actual game of tag, and they're passing on curses. Oh, he keeps kicking him. All right, pass it onto this guy down the end. This thing is called a frozen heart. Wow, it actually does freeze everything. You don't even need to touch it. It just... Everything around it gets, like, super cold. All right, let's get rid of that. I don't want a frozen pumpkin. Oh, the guy just died. Great. Now we've got a dead pumpkin. <laughs> Look at this. It's an actual dead pumpkin. Can you pass it on to... No, you can't pass the curse on to a dead person. All right, here's a weird one. This one's called Cupid's Arrow. And apparently, if we jam it into one guy... So, there we go. And then this one into another one. Oh, Okay. They've now come, they're, they're linked. They're linked by love. One heart hit one guy, the other heart hit the other guy. They're in love, okay? Now, how do we test this? We get a gun. Okay, now if one guy dies, the other one should get a broken heart. Let's give this a shot. Okay, so he's, he's been shot. Is he dying yet? He's just bleeding. Okay, hang on. We need to speed things up a little bit. Shoot him in the foot. Shoot him in the knee. Okay, he's fallen over. He's knocked out. This person looks like they don't care at all. I'm starting to think maybe they're actually not in love. You know you could probably call the ambulance or something and save this guy, right? Oh, there it is. They died. And then this person just puffed into some smoke or something. What was that? I guess they got a broken heart. <laughs> and a bunch of gray crap just came out of them. And now they're going to sleep. And I think they're And they died. They died of a broken heart. That is so tragic. All right, it's time to do some more rituals. Here we go. We've still got a bunch of items we can use on this altar. All right, here we have a crown. Nice. Let's get ourselves a dude. We have a businessman. Can you not stand in the altar, please? Thank you very much. Let's get these candles going. Oh, nice. Hey, where's my pentagram? It's not a real ritual if you don't have a pentagram. Okay. This guy got some unknown magic ability. What can he do? I guess we have to get a dude. All right, let's go and touch this guy. We've got some magic powers. What's going to happen? Oh, the guy just turned into a frog. Yeah, that's cute. Look at this tiny little frog. <laughs> I will call him Frogbert. That's his name. Or Peppy. I'll probably call him Peppy. All right, we've got Jenny here. Apparently, if Jenny kisses Frogbert... He will turn back into a human. All right, let's give this a shot. Go ahead and kiss his butt. There we go. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, he's back again. Are they in love? They might be. There's only one way to test if they're in love. <laughs> I did see some hearts, so. All right. Yeah, okay. They were definitely in love. I feel a little bit bad now. All right, let's see what other animals we can go ahead. Come on, dude. Come on. No, no, that is not how you treat the altar. All right. Let's go ahead and test this animal transforming ability. Transfiguration. Come on. Come on, do it. Transform this guy. Transform him. Oh, there it is. There it is. He just became... What is that? Is that a spider? Okay. Can you kiss the spider and bring him back to a human? All right, come on. Kiss the spider. Nah, that, that's not a real thing. You can't kiss spiders and turn them into humans. Next up, we have some good old-fashioned voodoo. That's a doll, apparently. It looks a little bit like a wooden dagger, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and activate the altar. We're doing some voodoo. Nice. It's green. Okay, so this guy now has voodoo powers. How does this work? I actually have no idea. How do we, how do we get this one working? Touch the doll. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now the doll has become an actual life-size thing. It doesn't It doesn't do much. It just, it just f like, flops around. Okay, the doll died. Okay, let's get another doll happening. All right, this one's, like, already trying to hug his legs. It's not that kind of doll. Oh, my God. Let him go. Let my human go. Oh, oh. Okay, that's how we link, that's how we link the pain. Okay, so it's linked. So now, I guess this guy over here is experiencing the thrill of hugging this man's legs. Is that how dolls work? All right, I'm going to get a nail, and I'm just going to put it in the doll. Oh, did this guy feel the pain or what? Oh, he did! We've knocked him down! Oh, my God! He is in immense pain from the nail inside of his stomach. All righty, bro, how you feeling now? All right, let's get an axe and use it on the doll's leg. Is that... Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! It's so effective! Alright, come back this way. You're getting out of the shot. There we go. 
Need to see what's going on. Oh, this guy is in immense pain. Okay, but what if we were to use something like helpful? You know what I mean? Like a life syringe. Does that heal the guy now? Or is it only pain? Maybe not. Okay, what about a mutation syringe? Oh. Oh! The doll is mutating! What have I done? <laughs> oh my god. No! <laughs> this is terrible! Don't mess with voodoo. Bad things happen. Oh my god. When the guy went to the shop and bought this doll, he was not expecting this to happen. I don't think anybody was. This guy is bleeding from the bum. That's bad. All right, let's go again. Only this time. Just go ahead and touch that, dude. There we go. All right, we've got our doll. Okay, so now we're just going to link this with this guy. There we go. The, the damage is linked. And let's try something like a flamethrower. So, oh, whoa, the guy went on fire, like, almost immediately. Okay, that is a really good voodoo doll. My guy in the middle here, though, he's also burning. All right, here you go. Look, frozen heart, everybody. There you go. I'll fix you all with a frozen heart. Everyone's okay. Why is there still fire? It's like frozen fire? What's going on? Okay, everybody died. Once again, don't mess with voodoo. The final kind of magic, and probably the most dangerous, is the blood curse. That's right. We're gonna go ahead and do this thing. That is a ritualistic dagger. Oh, we actually need to get some blood on the dagger. That's where you come in, champ. All right, here we go. All right, we've got... Yep, that's... How do I get my dagger back? Hey, give me my dagger back. The guy's stomach has clearly got it. There we go. All right. We've got this. We've got our bloody dagger. Nice. And then we just, I don't know, I guess we just eat that guy away. We don't need him anymore. All right, let's go. Blood magic. Yeah. We've got Karen over here. She's pretty keen to do some magic today. Nice. That's spun around. How does this thing work? All righty, come here, champ. We're going to go ahead and try some blood magic on you. Let's get this dagger out of the way so we don't accidentally have, a, have an accident. All right, I just, I touched this guy, I guess. Come on, blood magic. How does this thing even work? Oh, we need to activate the middle. Hey, there we go. Now that's doing something. All right. Oh, whoa. Where did that guy even go? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. That was intense. Blood magic is serious business. All right, let's get another guy. Oh my God. He just went up into the air, Stranger Things style, and just snapped into a thousand pieces. Every single one of his bones just broke. Oh, that's crazy. All righty, come here, champ. Whoa. Oh, my hands are sharp. Oh, I'm taking his blood just by touching him. All right, that's pretty cool. And there we go. There's another guy. Look at that. Vecna style. Just crumpled him up like a piece of paper. And he did. Wow, Karen. <laughs> Jeez. Do not mess with Karen. All right, guys. If there's any crazy stuff you want to see me try with these rituals, let me know in the comments. Catch you guys next time.